so we're going to continue on with some of the shapes here. Let's go ahead and start with this loincloth that you see here. So for this, we're just going to create a polygon primitive, and we're going to make a plane. Let's do the option box for this. Width, I'm going to set to something like 10. Height, something like 10. Divisions, I'll just do 1 and 1 for this. And the axis, I'll set to Z. So let's lift this up just a little bit. You can see here's our axis Z running this way. So it's going this direction with the character. So go ahead and hit Apply. And you can see what it's going to make for us here. Let's tab W, move it into place right here like that. And we're getting close to where it needs to be. Let's go to the front. And now we can just go ahead and scale this thing up, tapping R. And I'll move this thing down a little bit right here. And now I can just start grabbing points. And I'll grab these points. I'll move them right down here. And we're going to maybe scale these out just a little bit like this. And I'm going to give myself enough buffer space, enough room to where if we map this thing with a texture, that we can actually put this texture on the entire thing. So we've got this here. Um, if we want to get this thing a little bit closer to the shape, we could start to cut this thing out. But uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit F8 and hold down Shift, right click, use the multi cut tool. And this new functionality that they've given you, if you hold down Control, you can just add a, uh, like a loop through here. So I'm going to add one here, maybe one here maybe one here. And now I can kind of come through here and also I'm going to drag from maybe this point here and just draw around here and drag out, hit enter. I'll do the same for this here like that, hit enter. And now I don't need this portion here or here. So I'll select it. like that and hit backspace and we've gotten rid of that. So I can call this uh, loincloth like that. I'll throw it into this build group, then I'll mouse drag it into the build group that I have. I'll delete the history on it. I'll shift D and then now it'd probably be good if I have some splits going up through this thing as well. So I'll hold on shift, right click, multi-cut tool. Uh, let's do that again. I think I missed it. So shift, right click, multi-cut tool. I accidentally grabbed the sculpt geometry tool. So then I'm just going to run a few points from here to here like this. Tab G or Y for my last command. Just run up through here and go from this point up here like this. What that will allow me to do is come to the front or actually the perspective, sorry, and we can start to select these edges through here and move them back and I'll put on the soft select tool so I'll tap B and drag this out till I've got enough fall off on that so I can kinda just move this thing back just a little bit I'll select this edge here do the same thing for this like that and so now we've got some rounding kind of going on here and I'll turn on soft select so I'll tap B and I'll just move this point here like that and make sure that we're um, getting closer to the shape of this thing I might drag this over just a little bit like that and because we don't have any kind of UV mapping on this thing or whatever we can be a little more free with where we're taking the point so it'd be nice if this snapped up to the center point so I'll just hold down V and s actually snap it directly to the thing if I turn on uh, wireframe on shaded, you can see here's the geo that I'm working with. So maybe I'll snap it here. I'll hold down V, snap it to there, and I'll hold down V and snap it to this point here. And I can just take these and kind of move them back until they hit that line here. Right there like that. Now I probably want to soften the transition of this a bit. So just run it along here, something like that and uh, start checking it from some other angles too. Just make sure this thing makes sense in 3D. Okay, so now that I have all those created, I can take these points and I can pull them forward just a little bit, just so it's not interfering with uh, the belt. You can see it was kind of clipping into that a little bit. 
just pulling that forward just a little bit. And now I can hold down, uh, select the edge, double click on here, and well, I was hoping I was going to select that whole thing, but I'll just select them by hand. There's not much to select. And now we'll extrude those edges. Shift, right click, extrude edge. This time I don't want to use this manipulator. I could push this up like that. That's possible, but I just want to click this manipulator and then move it in uh, world space. So I can just click there, move it back ever so slightly, just get it just roughly above the top of this thing here and hit G for my last command and I'll move it in world space and I'll lift it up just a little bit and hit G one more time click that little icon move it here and then push it down as if it's flowing over the top of that belt like that I'll hit F8 and we'll delete the history on it so we got this history going on alt shift D and that'll delete our history and now we got the shape kind of going on for this loincloth thing here and I'll take these points down the center and I'll hold down X and then snap them more along the center and that's getting pretty far over so I'll just try to make that line kind of transition into there nice and smooth something like that now let's check this from our different vantage points and I think we need to pull this forward a little bit make a nice smoother transition going in there and we might instead of having this be pure this pure line like that we might get a little bit of curvature to this thing and if we do that you see we might have to pull that point just a little bit forward for this thing and so we got here, pull that back just a little bit. Let's just drag this back ever so slightly. So that's starting to look pretty good. We're checking that through all different angles. Maybe I'll take this point and pull it forward just a little bit. So if the shape looks pretty good uh, all by itself with just the geometry, when we go and map this thing on here and build the transparency for this and get this ripping kind of effect, it'll look even better at that point. So. Things are uh, looking uh, pretty good. So that's going to do it for this little piece here. Let's just delete the history on it. And I'll turn off wireframe on shaded. And in case you're wondering, um, I went and built a real quick temporary um, infinity wall. So if I tap one, you can see it was just a polyplane and pulled up the outer edges of this thing and then took these edges here and pull them up a little bit and then tap three for smooth mesh preview and then just made a new layer and assigned it to that and I can put it on reference so that way I can just see it I won't actually select it and here's my guy here I'll tap F to frame him and now I've got a nice infinity wall that'll give me this nice gradient for my lighting to kind of work on this thing as well. So I'll get this thing into place, put him roughly where he needs to be in all these different views in case somebody loads up this work. Go back here. And now we'll just save this as a new version. So file save scene as. And we've got 13. I'll put 14 at the end of this scene. And then we're good to go.